everybody. Today I am going to review how to draw an ice cream cone in Illustrator. And if you go to Schoology, I have the ice cream image in there. And when you open it up, look at all the layers I have laid out for you. You have the ice cream photo layer, which has our reference image. Then you've got cone, strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. I've locked every layer but the cone because we're going to start drawing with the cone layer. So when we finish each layer, we'll lock it and go to the next one. This makes it easier to move on the pieces. So a lot of this will be review just to make sure remember how to do things, but some things will possibly be new. So we're going to just hit the ground running. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the pen tool to trace the cone shape and we want to make sure that we have no fill and just the stroke color. We're going to take our pen tool, we're going to click and let go to make straight edges, click and hold to make curvy edges, click and let go on that center point to get rid of the handlebar and we're not too overly concerned with like the jagged edges on the cone. We're just going to make it really simple. Now, when I come to the top, I'm going to put a curve right here that runs into my strawberry ice cream so that when I draw the strawberry ice cream and put it on top of it, it will overlap really well. So now we have our shape. I'm going to scooch it out over here. I want to turn this into a gradient fill that matches these brown shapes. So I'm going to come over here, hit my arrow, turn it into a fill. I come down here and hit my gradient. Now, oops. Now I have a gradient. <laughs> my bad. You have to make sure that the fill is in the front before you select gradient. Otherwise, it'll go to the stroke like I just did. So, in order to make this gradient brown, I'm going to need my gradient and my color. If you don't see these on the right-hand side, go to Window and open them up, okay? So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click in this white little button right here. When I click on it, you'll notice that all my color down here is going to go grayscale. It just went grayscale. So now I'm going to come to my color palette, click on the three little lines, and pick RGB. Now I have color options. To get a brown value, you need to go in between yellow and orange. Yellow and orange down here. This is where the brown family lives. So now I have a nice brown color over here, but I've got all this black I want to get rid of. So I'm going to click underneath here and add a new button. I'm going to come pick a lighter shade of brown. And then I'm going to take this black, pull it down, and get rid of it. So now I just have two shades of brown. I can click inside the button, come back down, try to get a different shade. I can add more values. Maybe I want to make it a little bit brighter down here. You just kind of have to play around with it until you get those values where you want to because we don't want green. We don't want to go too dark. We don't want to go too bright. Okay, so now I've got quite a few different shades of brown. I've got it going dark to light here. The cone is more dark to light this way, so I can come over to my gradient panel and I can change my angle. For those of you who are good at math and geometry, it will be easier to figure out what angle you want to go to. For those of us who may have struggled in math and geometry, it may take a little bit more effort to figure out what direction you need to go. Yes, I'm talking about myself there. Okay, so now I have my gradient cone. Now I want to add a texture to it. So I'm going to control C and copy this shape and control V like Valentine and paste it. So I'm going to double check and make sure I have a fill and no stroke still. And I'm going to come over to my swatches panel. So let me move these guys out of the way. So I'm going to open up my swatches. Again, if you don't see this panel on the right, go to window and open it up. From my swatches panel, I'm going to click on the three little lines to the right. I'm going to open my swatch library and I'm going to go to patterns, basic graphics, basic graphics textures because I want to add a cone like texture to this. So you can start clicking through all of these options. It will turn it black and white, which is totally fine. But you want to find something despite the color that makes it feel like that kind of bumpy, waffly cone texture to you. So you can play through all of them. 
see if any of them give you the effect you're looking for. When you find something you like, what you want to do is put it on top of your gradient. So when you find the texture that you want, you're going to click on it and set it on top of your gradient cone image. Now, it's black and there's no black in our reference photo, so we want to change this option. So we're going to go to our transparency panel. And again, if you don't see it on the right, go to window, open it up. We're going to change our blending mode. So transparency, where it says normal, you can start clicking through these options. And some of them will change dramatically. Some of them won't change much at all. I picked a real obvious um, swatch pattern to put on here so that you could see what's happening. So you can play through these, see if you find one that works. When you find one that you like, you can leave it as is, or you can drop the opacity down, make it more subtle, whatever you like, personal preference. Okay, so now we have a very simple cone, but we want to get these great waffle lines in there. So I'm going to leave these guys sitting over here. I'm going to ignore them for right now. I'm going to come back to my cone shape. I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm going to make it a black stroke, no fill. And I'm going to click and let go, click and hold. I'm going to make my stroke size bigger so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to click off. So I am just going to trace the lines that curve. Oh, my bad. I'm going to trace the lines that curve around my cone and after each curve I just click and let go. So I'm going to pause for a second and come back. Okay, so as you can see I went through and I traced all the curved lines really fast. Now what I want to do is I want to highlight them. I'm going to scoot them out of the way. I'm going to take my eyedropper and I'm going to pick up this light brown color. Now when you use the eyedropper, it's going to turn it into a fill. You just come over here, hit this little arrow, take it back to a stroke. Now I want to pick a brush that's going to look like these values. So I'm going to locate my brushes. And again, you might have to go to window to open that up. And I'm going to go to my three little lines on the right. I'm going to open the brush library. I'm going to go artistic, artistic chalk charcoal pencil. This is going to give me a lot of great textures that I can work with. And as you click on them, you'll see that they start to get kind of three-dimensional, like the actual waffle cone. You can also go to your stroke, and you can make it bigger or smaller to better match the, the thickness of your lines over here. So once you think you've got that done, you're happy with how it looks, I'm going to go ahead and control G or right click group these and I'm going to put them right on top of my cone that I drew. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't quit, you know, quite fit 100%. We will definitely tweak things around later. So I'm going to repeat that process for the lines that come across this way and for the pieces that wrap around here. So as you can see, I trace the lines going down and I, I traced the lines wrapping on this part of the waffle and I went ahead and put different brushes on them and changed all their colors. So now I can highlight them, move them over to the top of this cone, and now I'm starting to look like I have a real waffle cone. So I'm going to highlight this and drag it over the top of this cone. And then I'm going to go back to my layers. I'm going to lock that layer. I'm going to say for right now my cone is done. I'm going to go ahead and lock it, hide it. And now I'm going to unlock my strawberry and start to make my strawberry layer. I find this one is a little bit easier. There's not as many layers. So instead of the pen tool, I'm actually going to use the paintbrush. And I am going to trace all these little ins and outs and angles, and I'm clicking and holding with my mouse, I'm not letting go. And then I come back to where I started. Now, I'm going to take my black selection arrow, click on that line, take my eyedropper, pick up the pink color. Now I have a shape. So now I have a solid. I'm going to move that out of the way real fast. 
Now I'm gonna go back to my paintbrush, make it a stroke. I'm gonna come through the center of these major areas. So there's like three or four kind of big areas I'm tracing through. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight with my black arrow, take my eyedropper, pick up that color that I see, and I'm gonna come over here to my chalk and charcoal brushes, find what I think kind of matches. I'm gonna increase that stroke size and see how it starts to fill in that space for me. So it's really easy to get that texture going, to get the value that you want with just a simple stroke. Another thing you can do is you can change the opacity so that you can go through and overlap things and start to see those textures behind it. So if I put my solid behind it, you start to see all these textures here. I can click on them, go to my transparency, and then they can start to overlap and get a little bit more three-dimensional. So really, the key to making your ice cream believable is the more details that you add. So like if I go in and clearly trace that gray area, make it that gray color, and then put the right brush on top of it and the right stroke size, now it's starting to look much more realistic. So for the essence of time, because I only have 15 minutes that I can use to record the tutorial for free, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my, my finished image. So I've got my cone, I've got my strawberry layer, which is a bunch of different shades of pink with the brushes. And then I put my vanilla layer on there and I added my chocolate. So once you get all those pieces together, it really does start to look like a really nice strong cone. Your task is going to be to draw your ice cream cone using all the tools available to you in Illustrator to match as best you can. And then you are going to pick a background color. You're gonna create some kind of balanced image with your ice cream cones. You can make multiple copies, you can change it up. Maybe you pick different flavors of ice cream. Maybe they're going different directions. Choice is yours. And then you wanna add text to it. So I added yum because I enjoy ice cream. So this is my completed project and that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go through, slowly draw the ice cream from the reference photo and then make a completed composition with it and then add text. Those are the requirements. And you can see all of that on Schoology so you know exactly what you have to do. Okay, that's it. Good luck, guys.